Bears, majestic and formidable creatures, exhibit unpredictable behavior at times. Encounters with humans in their vast wilderness might unfold in ways that challenge our understanding of the natural world. While such occurrences are uncommon, the repercussions can be severe, leaving indelible physical and emotional scars. It's a world where every interaction is a unique story, with no one-size-fits-all safety plan. Despite this, most encounters with these fantastic beasts end happily, a monument to the delicate balance between our worlds. Here are three different bear encounter stories. These stories provide glimpses into a world where split-second decisions and humanity's resolve to determine survival collide with the untamed essence of the wild. In a tragic turn of events, the tranquil wilderness of Yellowstone National Park, known for its spectacular beauty, experienced a terrifying and mysterious tragedy that shocked an entire population. Amy Adamson, 47, of Derby, Kansas, set out on the buttermilk trail in search of a connection with nature's untainted magnificence. What should have been a peaceful communion with nature turned gloomy when she was the victim of an apparent bear encounter, a phrase that sent shivers down the spines of people who love the great outdoors. The untamed force of a grizzly bear lurking in the the park's stunning environment became the story's unexpected protagonist. The mystery surrounding Amy's death deepened with each passing moment, urging one to consider the delicate balance between humanity's quest for adventure and the unstoppable power of nature, forever reminding us that in the wilderness, the line between beauty and danger can blur in the blink of an eye. In a chilling twist of fate, the very same grizzly bear that tragically claimed the life of Amy Adamson in the wilds of Yellowstone National Park met its end in a Montana home, leaving an indelible mark on the ongoing saga of the wild. The hungry grizzly, driven by relentless instinct, shattered the boundary between humanity and nature when it brazenly broke through a kitchen window to steal dog food, even as bewildered homeowners looked on in shock. Montana Fish Wildlife and Parks, facing a dangerous situation, made the agonizing decision to euthanize the bear. But the incident didn't end there. Genetic analysis unearthed a startling revelation. This very grizzly had been the shadowy figure behind a string of incidents, including the fatal mauling of Amy Adamson during her peace morning jog along the buttermilk trail. As if haunted by a grim legacy, this relentless creature was also implicated in a previous attack near Henry's Lake State Park in Idaho back in 2020. In this incident, the boundaries between the wild and the domestic, between predator and prey, blur into a narrative that is both haunting and thought-provoking. It reminds us that within the heart of nature's grandeur, a powerful, unpredictable force thrives, capable of inflicting both beauty and terror, leaving an enduring mark on the stories it touches. In a heart-wrenching decision, officials had no choice but to take a drastic step, driven by the imperative of public safety. Amidst the wilds of Montana, a poignant narrative unfolded. The somber declaration by the FWP was prompted by the immediate and grave threat posed to the people living in the region by the formidable female grizzly, known for her food-conditioned behavior. As the fateful shot was heard, it was reported that the world of the wild had been forever altered. However, amid this poignant tableau, a glimmer of hope emerged from the heart of the wilderness. Just inches from his fallen mother, a 46-pound male cub was seen standing as a symbol of resilience. Completely oblivious to the enormity of the moment, he was carefully whisked away to the agency's Wildlife Rehabilitation Center, which was known as a haven for second chances. The journey of the orphaned cub had only just begun as he awaited his next chapter, a life that was far removed from the one that had claimed his mother. With a bittersweet promise of renewal, it was reported that he was slated to find solace and a new family at a zoo, where the echoes of the untamed would reverberate in his heart, serving as a testament to the enduring bond between between humanity and the wild. In the heart of bear country, where the majestic wilderness of Montana was met by the unyielding beauty of Yellowstone National Park, a sad tale of resilience and tragedy unfolded. Following the fatal bear attack that July, it was reported that authorities had launched an extensive series of efforts to capture and relocate the bear. It was stated that these actions were taken in a desperate bid to mitigate the imminent public safety threat. Yet despite the unwavering resolve they possessed, it was reported that these endeavors had proved to be futile. It is worth noting that the region had been filled with fear due to the presence of a grizzly bear, which had been the subject of research and was captured in 2017. In the depths of nature's wild allure, it was determined that her actions in 2020 and the fatal incident in July were deemed defensive responses, characterized by a complex dance between human presence and the wild's territorial instinct. Amidst this tapestry of events, it was reflected upon by Janet Adamson, who had lost her daughter Amy in July's tragedy, reflected on Amy's daily 
daily ritual of seeking solace and exhilaration in the wilderness she cherished. Every morning it was said that she would get up early and engage in activities such as walking, hiking, or running. As she ran through the breathtaking beauty of Yellowstone, she felt as though she was on the verge of entering a state of pure bliss. It was reported that she had passed away while engaging in an activity that brought her immense joy. In a land known as Bear Country, where Montana's national forests harbored colossal and powerful creatures, the line between human adventure and untamed reality was blurred. Yellowstone National Park was regarded as a sanctuary for grizzly bears and black bears, where the echoes of their history resonate, as they are the descendants of brown bears that once roamed the American West. It was a reminder that the intricate tapestry of these encounters is a captivating enigma and a poignant testament to the ever unpredictable realm of the wild amidst the untamed beauty of nature. The connection between humanity and the wild was observed to be both captivating and poignant. In the rugged wilds of Choteau, Montana, where the frontier still existed, an incident of survival unfolded, etching itself into the annals of legend. Chase Delwo, a seasoned bow hunter at the tender age of 26, found himself in a deadly dance with nature's fury. On a crisp Saturday morning, the air was filled with the promise of adventure as Chase and his brother ventured into the untamed wilderness. Little did they know that a fearsome encounter was in store for them, as fate had planned. The shadows emerged from a colossal male grizzly, a behemoth of muscle and might. It was described as a living embodiment of primal power. With adrenaline coursing through his veins, every ounce of courage was summoned by him as his arm was plunged into the gaping maw of the charging beast in a desperate bid for survival. The world appeared to be holding its breath as a lethal struggle unfolded between man and beast. The forest witnessed a battle, its echoes resounding through the ages, serving as a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity when it was confronted with the jaws of oblivion. It was an incident that spoke of the unyielding tenacity of one man, serving as a testament to the unwavering spirit that coursed through the veins of those who dared to challenge the untamed wilderness. As Delwo hiked along the winding creek bed, hope surged within him, a pulsing heartbeat against the silence of the wild. Every step he took was calculated, creating a dance with nature's rhythm as he aimed to guide the elusive herd of elk towards the waiting embrace of his brother on the distant ridge. Nature, however, had its own plans. Delwo's world was shifted on its axis, a mere three feet from his intended path. Before him, a slumbering giant was seen, a grizzly, its hulking form was cloaked in the shroud of winter's wrath. Snow, rain, and fierce winds were swirling in a chaotic symphony. The bear was lying trapped in its dreams, completely oblivious to the approaching presence. Time was suspended in a breath that was held, with the world holding its breath alongside the hunter. The spell was shattered in a heartbeat. The grizzly was awakened as a thunderous eruption of fur and fury was experienced. Delwo's instinct surged, causing him to be propelled back as he desperately retreated from the jaws of impending doom. However, it was unfortunate that the fates proved to be cruel, and he found himself being sent tumbling by the colossal force of the bear, resulting in a clash of titans deep within the heart of the wilderness. The silent expanse was filled with the echo of teeth sinking into flesh, causing searing pain to be felt. In that pivotal moment, the anthem of survival was transformed into a visceral experience as the growling storm was met with a symphony of willpower. Delwo was held in dominion by the grizzly bear, whose roar was described as a thunderclap that appeared to shake the very earth. Yet against all odds, a spark of resilience was ignited within him, a fire that would burn brightly in the the face of adversity. The beast's savage assault had no bounds as it sank its teeth into his leg, causing him to be sent spiraling through the frigid air, akin to a helpless leaf being tossed about in a relentless storm. As the world around him blurred into a chaotic whirlwind, Delwo's mind was clawing desperately for salvation. At that moment, a memory that had been buried deep within the annals of his past emerged from the depths, like a lifeline extending from the abyss. He had read a story from a magazine as a gift from his grandmother, during a time when he couldn't have imagined the life life-saving significance it would hold, and now it has been returned to him. The words reverberated within his mind, compelling him to confront the colossal menace unconventionally. His heart was pounding in his chest as he steeled himself, and plunged his right arm deep into the open mouth of the grizzly. The dare against death itself was a gamble that had been taken, and to his amazement, it actually worked. The grizzly bear recoiled as its gag reflex was triggered, and Delwo's life was spared in a heart-pounding instant. His tenacity conquered the wilderness, causing the bear to retreat, and Delwo's battered body 
body and spirit were reunited with his brother, symbolizing an indomitable will that could not be broken. They began a race against time as they sped to the hospital. Surgeons would mend the wounds and restore the shattered fragments of his ordeal. His defiance in the face of a force of nature was witnessed by the stitches and staples, leaving behind scars that would forever etch his story into the sinews of his being. Yet after this epic clash between man and beast had concluded, Delwo spoke a profound truth. He declared, I wanted everyone to know that it wasn't the bear's fault. He felt just as scared as I did. In the unforgiving wilderness, the boundaries between predator and prey were blurred, as a primal connection was revealed between all creatures in the eternal dance of survival. Dewo, a seasoned hunter with a history of close experiences with the wild, had always lived on the edge of danger. However, never before had he peered into the abyss with just a breath between himself and the enormous grizzly. Even the most daring of guys would have been taken aback by the eerie familiarity of this encounter. Amid adrenaline and survival, he promised to temporarily hang up his hunting gear, yielding to the wisdom of caution. Nature, it seemed, had taught its lesson through wounds and swollen eyes. Duol's resolve remained unbroken as the stitches traced their trail over his head. He'd soon trade the sterile white of the hospital room for the vast expanse of Belgrade, Montana, his hometown. The windswept plains would greet him back, a tribute to his unyielding spirit as he prepared for the start of rifle season. A promise to himself and the wild, a symphony of life and death ringing in the hunter's heart. An incident of survival was inscribed in his body, a monument to the uncompromising urge of a man who dared to face the wild with unflinching eyes. The shadows whispered wonders, and the stars kept their vigil under the veil of the Appalachian night. In this hallowed silence, Gabriel Alexander's world was abruptly shattered. He awoke suddenly from a deep sleep as a searing pain surged through his scalp, overwhelming his senses. He felt a surge of panic as it mingled with the disorienting darkness that surrounded the backcountry campsite in the heart of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. His hands trembled as he fumbled for a flashlight, and his heart pounded with an erratic rhythm that echoed the wild, untamed heartbeat of the wilderness. In those heart-stopping moments, Gabriel was grappling with the unfathomable. His young mind was unable to comprehend the evil force that was seeking to unravel his peaceful existence. The line between reality and nightmare blurred on that fateful night as the echoes of a primal world reverberated through the trees. It was a scene for a battle where a brave soul would confront the unknown, armed only with his will to survive, and the ancient spirits of the smoke as witnesses. At 10.30 p.m., the clock struck, enveloping the serene expanse of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park in a cloak of darkness. The night remained silent, with only the whispers of the wind and the occasional rustle of leaves breaking the stillness. Little did he know that this serenity was abruptly shattered, for at that very hour an evil force descended upon him. Gabriel had experienced a sudden jolt as he was forcefully pulled out of the comforting embrace of sleep while a searing pain tore through his scalp. In the dark depths of the forest, an assailant, unseen and filled with relentless ferocity, had forcefully seized him by the head, desperately attempting to drag him deeper into the heart of the woods. The battle for survival began, and the seconds ticked away in the relentless night, leaving Gabriel grappling with the primal instincts that surged within him. In the shadowed heart of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, a quiet night was transformed into a battleground as Gabriel, a young soul hailing from Athens, Ohio, was embroiled in a fierce conflict. He was abruptly jolted from his peaceful slumber, his senses overwhelmed by an intense, unbearable pain that surged through his entire body. A whirlwind of bewilderment and fear consumed him, leaving no room for tranquility. His head and face were marred by gashed wounds, serving as stark reminders of the vicious assault that had occurred. His father, who was a beacon of strength, fought off the unseen assailant and chased it into the dark recesses of the wilderness. Gabriel's voice was trembling as he was recounting the nightmarish ordeal. His words were providing a window into the raw fear that was gripping him. During the desperate struggle, an unbearable thought was clawing at his consciousness the horrifying possibility that this evil force might have claimed not just his own life, but his father's as well. In that heart-wrenching moment, Gabriel's scalp was torn, and pain surged through him, forcing him to confront mortality in its most savage form. He stood on the precipice of a chilling unknown, unsure of what lay ahead. After that harrowing night in the heart of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, Gabriel and his father, Greg, found themselves summoning reserves of strength they had never known they possessed. They embarked on a dangerous hike together as they sought to reached the sanctuary of a lake that glimmered as a beacon of hope in the vast wilderness. With resolve etching into their every step, they secured a boat and sailed towards the safety they desperately sought. Now, as the sun was casting its first rays upon their battered bodies, Gabriel discovered himself under the care of the dedicated staff at Mission Hospital in Asheville, North Carolina. Remarkably, Greg's father, Greg, emerged from the ordeal without any injuries, which serves as a testament to the fortitude that coursed through their veins. The authorities were left baffled by the unprovoked attack 
attack that occurred on the third night of their five-day adventure. It was confirmed that the duo had meticulously stored their provisions on aerial cables, which only added to the bewilderment felt by the authorities when faced with the audacity of the assailant. Joey Scott, Gabriel's mother, a pillar of strength herself, delivered the reassuring news that Gabriel's spirit had remained unbroken. The bear's onslaught had indeed left its mark, but it had not managed to break his skull or inflict any brain trauma upon him. His eye, which had witnessed the wilderness, remained unharmed. They felt gratitude flowing through their veins, soothing the scars that that fateful encounter had left. Plastic surgery and diligent home health care were required on the road to recovery, but the prognosis shone brightly as a beacon of hope. Gabriel, seen as a testament to resilience, was anticipated to have emerged from this trial with renewed vigor, fully prepared to confront the world once again. After Gabriel had a chilling encounter, a dedicated team of rangers initiated a determined hunt for the assailant. They could bear fruit from their efforts as they zeroed in on the exact location where the attack had taken place. There, amidst the ancient trees and whispering leaves, they came face to face with the bear they believed had been responsible. Park spokeswoman Dana Soen, her heart burdened with sorrow, confirmed the capture and subsequent humane euthanization of the male bear at Campsite 84. A somber realization settled upon us as we breathed in the heavy air, understanding Understanding that nature, while breathtaking, could also be unforgiving. The park responded promptly to the increased bear activity by taking swift action, closing down four trails and six backcountry campsites. This precautionary veil extended even to a shelter along the storied Appalachian Trail. The untamed wild that thrived in the heart of the park was starkly reminded of it. Great Smoky Mountains National Park urged vigilance among its visitors as approximately 1,500 black bears prowled the expanse, ranging from 100 to a staggering 500 pounds. Park Superintendent Cassius Cash, a dedicated steward of this magnificent natural wonderland, emphasized the rarity of such incidents. However, he earnestly implored all individuals who ventured into this untamed realm to heed the necessary precautions. A plea resonated through the rustling leaves, calling for the delicate balance that bound man and beast in this ancient sanctuary to be respected.